Hey everyone, my name is Abby. I help create some of the content for the Passion Planner digital social media pages. And today I'm gonna do a plan with me, a full plan with me in our daily undated digital planner. So I'll be using my iPad Pro and the app GoodNotes. And I'm gonna keep it pretty minimal today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I won't be using any stickers or do any big customization sort of things just because I want to keep it simple for any of you who are just starting out or if you just like to keep like a pretty minimal um, planning style. So I'll put all of the settings up on the screen here for my pen. And um, if you're like me, I like really need to zoom in um, to control my handwriting. So I like to use this zoom window in GoodNotes here always resize it to um, zoom in a bit more and I just find that this gives me more control over my Apple Pencil. If you're new to writing on an iPad you may have noticed that you know it's a little bit different than writing on a paper planner so um, I, I do need a little bit more control when it comes to writing. Over here I'm just turning off the auto advance um, for the zoom window. If you want some more details on like how to use GoodNotes, we do have a specific tutorial for that that you can check out up on our channel here. So moving on, so you can notice that I can also move the zoom window here. So I like to start out each day before I even get into planning, I'll do like a little gratitude list. So I'm gonna write down, you know, three things that I'm grateful for. And then after I'm done with my little gratitude list, I love doing this. I feel like this has made such a big difference in my planning. So every single day I start out with doing a little check-in like, okay, where am I at today? Everyone always says like, okay, like meet yourself where you're at. What does that mean? It means like first I need to figure out like, how am I feeling today mentally and physically? You know, like what's on my mind? And I feel like it's really important because before I even get started on my day, I need to figure out like, okay, how am I feeling? so that I can kind of plan my day out accordingly so that I know that I'm not overwhelming myself if I'm not feeling super great today or if I am feeling really great, how can I take advantage of that? Once I've done that, I go ahead and get into my list for like, okay, that's where I'm at. So what do I need? How do I meet myself where I'm at? So today, for example, since I'm feeling energetic and motivated. I want to take advantage of that. So that just means, okay, today I'm going to prioritize my difficult tasks. That way I can really take advantage of this energy I have this morning. That way, if I start to feel a little bit more tired um, throughout the day, I'll at least know that like, okay, I already took care of those really big, important tasks. And then I like to do a little Kanban board. So this is a project management tool. Um, I like to write out like to do, doing, done, and then I can either write out different projects or different tasks and kind of get a better idea visually of like where I'm at with all of them. But before I even get to down to that, I'm gonna go ahead and start actually planning out my day. I just kind of like to set things up before I get into the nitty gritty of my day. All right, so let's get into the actual layout. So first up, I'm gonna write down what my focus is for today. And then I'm gonna write down my game changer goal. If you don't know what this is, um, we have something called our passion roadmap that you do in the beginning of the planner to kind of plan out your short and long-term goals. And then specifically for the daily planner, um, we pick like a game changer goal for the month. So this is the goal that's gonna make the biggest difference to you um, in your life right now. For example, right now I'm kind of trying to focus on paying off my credit cards. And then every single day, um, we have a space for you to write out your goal and then write out some steps that you can take today to get you closer to that goal. So now I'm just writing out my personal tasks that I think I need to get done today. I'm kind of just doing a brain dump and then I'll show you how I organize them a bit more later. And then I'll do the same with my work tasks as well. Once I've written everything down, now here is the great thing about digital planning. I can move stuff around. And this is just so useful for me because I'm the type of person where I need to kind of like word vomit everything onto my planner. And I'll use my lasso tool to kind of prioritize certain tasks so I can move them around. And then I take it a step further. So I'm the type of person also where like I get really intimidated or overwhelmed if I see a bunch of stuff on my planner. I'll take my lasso tool in GoodNotes and I'll select the lesser important tasks. 
and then I'll tap on it and click on color and then I'll turn these um, words basically gray and that way like the the tasks themselves are still there and I won't forget about them but visually like my eyes aren't gonna quickly go to them so they're kind of in the background All right. and then once I've done that again huge thing about digital planning is copying and pasting like if you're rewriting stuff in your planner in your digital planner you are not making full use of it you need to be copying and pasting when you can from there i try to time block if time blocking isn't your thing that's totally fine but this is how i like to time block i will just use my highlighter tool here i love that i can like move tasks around in case you haven't noticed i also have anxiety so um, writing something down in my planner would give me so much anxiety because I would think to myself like well what if plans change as they happen to do um, and so it would take me so long to write down my plans because I would just think about it too much and the perfectionist side of me would be like I, I can't do this but with digital planning if I need to move things around I can easily do I can just take the lasso tool and move it around I can full-on delete things if I want to as well all right, now that that's done, I'm just gonna take my highlighter tool in like a gray color, and I like to put these like little sort of like check boxes next to my tasks. The more things that I can check off on a planner, like the better, I feel like it just motivates me. All right, now, if you have bought any of our digital planner bundles, so I'm just gonna add in our habit tracker. I'm showing you what it looks like here, the GoodNotes file but I've actually added all of these already into my elements tool in GoodNotes, which is basically kind of like a clip art tool where I can save certain elements um, and easily insert them into my layouts. And if you want to learn how to do that, you can check out our tutorials. But I've just inserted my habit tracker And then I'm gonna move on to my self maintenance. This is like our version of self care. How am I gonna ma maintain myself today? Um, I'm gonna drink a gallon of water. If you haven't drank any water today and you're watching this, this is your sign to drink some right now. I'm gonna fill out my little Kanban board with my work tasks, things that I've been working on. Again, it's just great that I can do a full on brain dump here and then I'll move things around. I'm like, okay, this is what I haven't started yet, this is what I'm in the middle of doing, and this is what I have already finished. Um, if you are already familiar with bullet journaling, this might look kind of familiar, but um, I have my own sort of symbols for things, so of course a check mark means I'm done with something. If I use this symbol, it means I'm going to move it on to the next day. If it's a little slash, that means I've started. All right, so that was our plan with me video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them, them in a comment below. Like if you want to see certain types of content or tutorials, we would love to help provide that for you all. Um, you can click on the links in the description to purchase any of our digital planners or our digital stickers. If you want to check out some more tutorials, we have a ton of them on our channel. So please click on our profile, subscribe. Um, we have even more tutorials and hacks and a lot of fun um, little videos for you up on our Instagram as well. So you can check that out in our description too. But thank you all for watching um, and stay tuned for the next one.